This is me in a specially modified pram, <coughs> and it's just the first of four different techniques that I'm going to be trying over the next 48 hours to sneak into places. What's up? But why? Well, I wanted to try and use the silliest methods I could think of. I'm a bush. So I could beat my friend in a competition. And my friend is called Zack. Now, we both have a history of sneaking into places, and so I thought it was time for us to go head to head. Why are you dressed as a fireman? But what were the rules? Right, Zack, in 48 hours, we need to meet at the Anime Expo in Los Angeles, California. Before that, we need to complete four of the silliest sneak-ins that we can think of. And the winner is the first person to get into Anime Expo when it opens. Capiche? Let's go. For this challenge, Zack would be making a video for his sneak-ins, and I'll be making one for mine. And this competition has all been made possible by Genshin Impact, the sponsor of this vid, which you should defo download using the link below. Genshin Impact is an incredible RPG that is based in the world of Teyvat. Teyvat has seven nations that are all related to different elements. Zack and I will be sneaking into places all related to one of those nations. And to start with, I will be unlocking the Enkuramiya nation, which is all about the hydro element. And where better place to sneak in than the London Aquarium, a place full of water, and where I'll be trying to get in for free as a baby. My chariot for today is this. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this. A custom made buggy, pram, stroller, whatever you call it, to fit a man of six foot two inside. That is me. Luckily, I did fit inside but only just. That is a lot tighter than I thought. And it looked like my elaborate disguise might not work. Nah, that looks like a human's inside. <laughs> and that made me very upset. <laughs> Luckily, I did have one more trick up my sleeve. I definitely know what the next step is, and I don't like it at all. And that step was, well, yeah. All right, let's go sneak into the aquarium. How do I look? The answer was uh, not inconspicuous, but at least I had a cute bonnet. Pushing me and my new dad is friend of the channel Marlon, and on the way to the aquarium I got to impress him with some of my facts about the city. Big Ben actually isn't the name of the tower. Big Ben is the name of the bell. The tower is actually known as the Elizabeth Tower was recently refurbished. We pulled up to the front entrance, and there was only one thing for it. Here we go. Oh. As we approached the ticket desk, my heart was beating faster than ever. But as Daddy scanned his ticket, we confirmed that the under threes do in fact go free. We've done it. Or so I thought. <laughs> At this moment, I freaked out and stopped recording. But fortunately, Dario remained cool as a cucumber. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. And with that, I'm I'm yeah. <laughs> and my marine education could begin. <laughs> Look at that big fish. See you later. <laughs> Mission success. I just realized I don't actually need to wear the trousers. With the aquarium a success, it was time to move on to our next sneak in. For the Electro Nation, or the electricity element, I'm going to be sneaking into somewhere not with a disguise, but with a distraction. I'm going to be using one of these. Hit it. Will he be able to distract security? For break in number two, I'd be attempting to sneak into a music festival using a wacky wavy inflatable flailing arm tube man as the only distraction. High viz is always the way forward. But first, we had to smuggle an extremely noisy generator and some rather conspicuous fans as close as we could get to security. That's the gate to the festival, right there. And then when it's set up, I'm just gonna try and wander in. Hopefully they'll be distracted. Ignoring the absolute insanity of this idea, I sent the team ahead to set up the tube men in some high viz whilst I did my best to blend in with the crowd by the entrance. I gave them the signal and Operation Distract Festival staff in the silliest way possible was a go. 
Until it wasn't. This is a disaster. A problem with the generator meant my tube men were neither wacky nor waving, but the commotion had already attracted security. So while not quite the large scale distraction I was hoping for, I just decided to go for it. Security spot them, I've got to go, and I've got to go right now. Even though my electro element, the generator, had failed, the commotion it caused combined with a little posh boy confidence allowed me to walk through with ease. She's distracted, he's distracted, she's blooming distracted. And while my friends were presumably being carted off to prison, I enjoyed a day at the festival. With music. Free drinks. Oh, thank you very much. Beers. It's not a festival, this. It's in the Glastonbury in the middle of London. <laughs> and the classic Max Fosh security guard as a cameraman shot. Excuse me, mate. Do you mind just taking a video of me? All right. Uh, thanks very much. Meanwhile, Zach was across the pond in America, cosplaying as a giant wetty. Hey, have you got room for a small one? I thought I'd join him in the land of the free, but I thought it was best to arrive incognito. I'm currently in camouflage, and the reason? Because I want to sneak onto golf courses. It's the third sneak in and all about dendro, or the plant element. Los Angeles has a number of very prestigious and fancy golf courses. They, of course, wouldn't let me play, so I wanted to play a hole as a bush. They obviously need to see, so this bush has got his glasses on. But I first need to check if my bush would actually help me blend into my surroundings. So, here's a fun game. I'm going to give you five seconds. Can you see me in this shot? No? That's because I'm over here. But now to try it on the people of Los Angeles and see whether they could see me. And I was getting some mixed results. Afternoon. Oh, damn it. Nice shorts, sir. I'm a bush. 5K sweaty boy. With some confidence in my disguise, I made my way downtown. And after some scintillating small talk with my Uber driver, What time do you get off? I'd arrived at the back of one of LA's most prestigious courses that I'd found on Google Maps. There's a, there's a golf course on the other side of this hill. When I'm on the golf course, I need to try and putt a ball. That's the goal. So not only am I going to have to try and sneak in looking like this, I'm also going to have to try and convince a golfer to let me have a putt. <laughs> I lumbered through the undergrowth like a yeti with a trust fund. And for navigation, I was mainly relying on my enormous amounts of self-belief. Just on the other side of here, I'm on a bank at the top of the golf course. From my position, I could see a hole over to my left. But to get there, I would have to remain unseen and unheard by the LA golfers. But I also had to bear in mind that I wasn't caught by the notoriously scary greenkeepers. Remember, I had to putt a ball into a hole, but I didn't have a club or a ball. Oh, a ball. Ball in hand, I found some cover in some bushes next to the hole. I'd made it. But everything up until this point was only half the challenge. I now had to convince someone to let me borrow their club and putt my ball into their hole. N not a euphemism. I'm trying to throw my ball into the green. They come. As some unsuspecting golfers arrived, I started to lose my nerve. I thought he looked at me. No, he didn't. But it was time that Bush became man. What's up? Oh, yeah. So that's my ball over there. The, the orange one. Thank you. Can I borrow your putter? I just want to hit one shot. Just one shot. Sorry, man. Thank you so much. Cheers. Sorry. 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 Thank you very much. Cheers. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. And with that excruciatingly awkward encounter, and with my ghillie suit trousers round my ankles, right, run, run. Another sneak in was complete. Which leads us all the way to break in number four the Los Angeles Anime Expo 2023. Now, first things first, I scoped the perimeter, but even a seasoned convention sneaker inner like myself was surprised at the level of security at this event, which made sense as over 115,000 people were in attendance. So if I was gonna make it inside, I was gonna have to think outside the box or inside the box. So as you can see, the queue is getting quite big to get into the Anime Expo behind me. And I'm currently dressed like I'm going to the polo. So how am I gonna get it? I'm gonna be getting in 
in this. This is the Cryoregisveen from Genshin Impact, and it would be representing the ice element. Amazingly, it's wearable. It's being held together by duct tape, sure, but this is my way in. I'm essentially gonna pretend that I'm an exhibitor at the Anime Expo. At the end here is an entrance. So I'm basically just gonna go around the side and ask whether I could just get in. Now, it has to be said, the Cryoregisveen wasn't particularly designed for maneuverability. I don't think I'm going to be able to see out of this. This is so hard. So it was going to be extremely slow going. It's literally just about shuffling. Insert LMFAO reference. It's also 40 degrees outside. I am going to get poached in here. Right. Zach is definitely not going through the links that I'm doing right now. Throw it. I don't give a life, okay? Meanwhile, back over with Team Fosh. Ow. See you on the other side. I'm not sure whether you can see, but there are literally wheels that small that are helping move this entire thing. So I'm just gonna have to move incredibly slowly. Right. How do I turn it? Things were moving at a slightly slower pace. I was slow, but with everyone assuming I must be part of the convention, I was actually sailing right past the line. That's the line. So you can stop. Just keep going. But then at perhaps the worst moment possible. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. The wheels are so small. They get stuck on these paving stones. Which gave event security a chance to catch up with me. Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Where are you supposed to be? So we're just, I'm meant to just be down at the end there for the exhibitor's entrance. You guys need to be like in a designated yeah. booth area. I think they can't move it around. To get out of this one, I'd have to think quick. We had to move it down here to get like, make some repairs to it. And we're moving it back to where it was, which okay. is further down there. Got it. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Cheers. Crisis averted, and I'd made it past a few levels of security. That's the entrance there. I think I just got in. I'm sweating, but all I can see is this. I'd made it past security disguised as a part of the furniture, but I quickly ran into another problem. There's a door right there. I don't think I can fit through there. Excuse me, sir. Is that too tall? Do you think I could fit? I can't, I won't be able to get in. Ah. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I've got to the front, but I just genuinely cannot fit through the door. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> you can see the reflection in the mirror of the door. <laughs> That's what I'm in. But hanging around the entrance to the expo in a 10-foot cryo Regisveen cosplay had started to draw some unwanted attention. Oh, shit. And eventually, even more security came out to question me. I've been busted. I've been busted. I've been How busted. Doing, Hello, mate. How you doing? I'm good. You can't, you can't be in here. I'm part of the exhibition, though. Come out of there? Show us your badge and you'll be allowed inside. Okay, understood. He walked back inside, but it was clear that they were onto me. Fuck. And the only way in would be to show my non-existent badge. I think my race is run. So I did the only thing left that I could do and phoned a friend. <laughs> no, why are you dressed as a fireman? <laughs> It's quite hard to explain. I'm, I'm in the convention, but I wasn't allowed inside. No, 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 Max. We said the main point is Genshin's I'll drop you my location. Just come and find me, and I'll explain why I'm not there. What are you inside? Um, you'll see. <laughs> right, time to look for Fosh. <laughs> he's dropped us his location, and he's actually really close. Is he in there, Max? No? Oh. Excuse me, have you guys seen like an English guy with glasses, floppy hair? No, okay, I'm just searching. No f***ing way. <laughs> <laughs> I was checking in bins for you. <laughs> what the f***? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. Um, I got moved away. <laughs> I got... <laughs> you look like a mole man. How long have you been in this? Over an hour. We've only just, we got in like 10 minutes ago. There's like a group of people around you. You're like a freak I got through, So I got through the first layer of security. I've but got then so it was just, many questions. It was just the door. You didn't fit? I had a woman come over to be like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm one of the ex like exhibitors. <laughs> so the only reason you didn't win... Wait, are we saying that I didn't win? 
Oh well, mate, we said we're meeting yeah, in the booth. Yeah, fine. <laughs> were you at the booth? I wasn't the booth. Despite making it past security, having a fun day out with Daddy at the aquarium. It's pretty big. <laughs> and waltzing past a festival for a free drink or playing a quick hold of the golf course. Can I borrow your putter? Why are you in a firefighter's outfit? I've asked myself the same question. It seemed that Zach had beaten me at the final hurdle, but only until next time. You didn't take this on the plane. No. <laughs>